And there's the famous number one leading the field. Something from yesteryear, 25 years ago, with Phil March behind the wheel as they start to move into their positions for the big dance. We call this the four wide salute letting the fans know how much they appreciate them coming out to watch. And a special moment for that 43. Yeah. Sitting on the front four wide of the Aussie title, his heart will be absolutely thumping as the fireworks go off here. We've had to wait for this one. It's been worth the wait. This is the Australian Sprint Car Championship. you got to love the Aussie title. Very quick for the four wide tonight. The teams want to get on with this. We managed to cool. Toyota fly cam amongst the fireworks that are exploding above Premier Speedway now. And now we just need a bit of wind to move that along. We've had that in the past where there's been some dramas. I remember being in this four wide back in 2016. I started out at position number 16. I ended up 11th and it was at that moment. I know I said earlier that I wasn't nervous once the car started, but it was probably the only time I remember being in a sprint car and actually having some nerves. It's such a special <laughs> race and these guys will be feeling it right now. Brock Hallett will go from position number one. Chasing down car number one at the moment, Phil March, celebrating all that history. There is your front row. We haven't had a Victorian win the Aussie title in Victoria since 1972, Matt. The first time the Aussie title was held right here in Warrnambool. Graham McCubbin getting the job done. Could Portland's own boy Brock Hallett do it today? Could the driver outside him follow in another famous Tasmanian, Dave Murcott, and go back to back at the Aussie title? Behind him, Inglis, we haven't had a West Aussie win since 1993. Alex Orr's never even won a race, let alone an Aussie title. He starts outside row number two. Lights out. This is the title. Who's going to put their name on that trophy alongside Rush, Tatnell, Brazier, Dumsney, Farr? This is where heroes of the sport are made. This is the Aussie title. And it begins now. Gets the jump into one over the Aussie champ. Oh, Alex Moore was always awkward through turn one for the first time. He drops back into fourth position. James Inglis goes up into second as the cars trip their way around the track for the first of 40 laps in the Aussie title. Man, Alex Orr's car is just horribly tight. He cannot get that 43 to turn into the corner. Great start, Brock Allen. 40 laps on the boards, and he's got a wicked start. Winning that race down to turn one. And the grip looks to be at the low part of the racetrack, just like you'd expect it at the beginning of a night, in the beginning of the heat races. But it's going to be a long one. Settle in, find your groove. Or has just got that thing turning now. He's dropped down to sixth, but it's a nice start, this one, for Hallett. And Inglis setting sail in second. And already to the back of the field, he comes. Brett Melbourne is going to be the first car to go a lap down. Only four laps into this Australian title. And he'll need to get going here because James Inglis is going to claw that gap back in the Devil Race Cards Diamond Bay Motorsports car. The Aussie champ runs in third ahead of Phil McHugh, Alex Orr, Grant Anderson, Callum Williamson, Jordan Charge and Luke Dillon. Man, we are so quickly into the traffic tonight. There's one car between first and second. Brett Milburn's car making it through the B main tonight. Inglis is a little bit crooked coming out of turn two. The front tires were bouncing down that back straight. He's under pressure from Goodyear. He's got him. Change for second. Milburn, the lap oh, car. Oh, wow. Bicycle Inglis is so lucky to keep that car on the deck. He's going to lose another spot here, maybe, on McEwen, the seven. Tricky racetrack to get a handle on in the early parts here tonight. Goodyear and Phil, a pair of champions. There's three former champions in the field with J-Mac unfortunately dropping out as they roll towards the green flag. Goodyear trying to search for some grip up high. He needs to get a move on because the leader of this race, Brock Hallett, is just putting lap cars between first and second. It'll be two seconds next time they go by. So Hallett getting the advantage of the lap cars here in the GW Racing. Number five, looking to put the one on the tail tank for the Queensland team, the Victorian driver behind the wheel. As we go down to another lap here, 30 remain. Just like that, we tick off 10 laps in the national championship. Yeah, we're a quarter of the way through this one already. Now Gucci has got a bit of a flow going. He goes to the back of Bricknell, who joined the race as a very lucky second reserve. He's cleared him, and now he's got nothing between him and the race leader. Goodyear is starting to oh, find his way wow. as soon as I say it. He just about flips that thing. Jeff Gordon, famous NASCAR driver, once said you can flip a sprint car quicker than you can sneeze, and he just about found that out in turn three. 
He's fighting that car compared to Brock Hallett. That number five, Toby, looks really nice compared to the one. It sure does, but he's been running down low and working his way through traffic. But what Jock's been doing really well is moving that racetrack up a little bit. But Jamie Veal staying down on the bottom. These cars are going to have to move around as we're seeing Jock Goodyear try and make this top line work. You have to stay on the bottom right now, but lap cars making these cars move around. Now the top three are battling. This is awesome action. The fight is for the lead. Hallett down low, around the oh. top comes Goodyear, he's got some bite, and he gets second back from Veal. This is fabulous racing for the lead. And all trying to avoid that hole in the middle of turn number four. Oh. Goes over the main straight. No. It's Goodyear. Goodyear on the outside. Wow. And to the lead, Hallett is Hallett. slowing. No way. The contact no. has taken Hallett out of it. Veal now the leader. Goodyear's there. Mick Hughes got into this fight. That is heartbreaking stuff for Brock Hallett. He's not even in the picture anymore. Put a, a line through his name. Can you believe it? No. He is gone. Did the contact knock that car out of gear or something weird like that? I'm unsure. But meanwhile, Jamie Veal's got the lead, and here comes the queue. McHugh to third. Jordan Charge is running fourth, boys. Wow. wow. Jordan Charge is from knocking ninth. on the door of the podium from ninth on the green. And Madsen's gone from 17th to 10th. So uh, the uh, madman uh, uh, is moving. We're halfway home in the feature. We've stayed green the whole way. McHugh's got to second. He was second last year behind car number one at the motorplex of the title. And now he turns his attention to Jamie Veal, the local boy, the local hero. McHugh, McHugh is absolutely storming. There he is in the seven. The Monty Farms SWI 35 leads the Australian Championship with 17 laps to go here. A sea of traffic just ahead. It works out well for Jamie Veal. McHugh parks it on the bottom and goes past Quinn and Sam Walsh. And they stay together here. But so many more cars to be passed in this race with 16 remaining. Madsen up to ninth. Inglis has fallen back to seven. McHugh! It's balked and now we've got a new race leader. Lucky McHugh from nowhere. Veal fights back. Dumsney gets sideways and somehow McHugh avoids him. New race leader with 15 to go. Oh, and he gets the wheels up. Field fights back, the wheel stands it down the back stretch. This is unreal sprint car racing. Up to Newton they go. Veal back to the lead, looking for his second Australian championship. They're glued together on a track that's bouncy. It's hooky. It's unpredictable. It's insane to watch tonight at Warrnambool. These two just side by side. They're going to take this one down to the wire. This is wicked. Wings racing is the fight for the leaders on again. McHugh working the bottom of the racetrack. They're approaching Cameron Waters as Veal lifts the front now. McHugh back to the lead in the NQ7. He slides to the inside of Cam Waters. He puts that lap car one spot back and he's got some forward momentum. He's got a lap car between he and second and he'll have 10 to go next time by. We've gone green flag through 30 laps of racing in the title tonight. McHugh is flying as Waters hooks the front up. So it's a breathing margin now for the seven. Down the back straight, McHugh daring to dream. Bill second, Goodyear third and charge is starting to close on the Australian champ. McHugh looks like he's hungry. He looks like he's going to go for gold here tonight. The SRV number seven has eight laps to go. Has Jamie Bill got something left in the tank? Man, Grant Anderson's got himself inside the top five as well. Jordan Charge still sitting there in fourth as McHugh works his way through the traffic. He's onto the back of Kerry Madsen now, so he's lapped all the way up to eighth as he continues to fly through this field. But the traffic is there behind Alex Orr as well. Can he get that momentum? Can he keep it going right now through the field? He's putting multiple lap cars between he and the chasing pack. This is an awesome drive so far from McHugh. Nick Speed, the tuner on that car, the crew chief, his heart will be thumping. So desperately craving an Australian championship. Oh, oh Madsen. Madsen wow. half spins in front of the leader and loses the spot to Alex Orr. But McHugh leads this one with four laps to go. Four laps to go in the Aussie title as he works his way down the back straight. Nearly 1.7 seconds. Veal is losing oh. touch here. Alex Orr just hooked the curb hard right in front of Jamie Villa who's trying to come on through English about to get lapped here as well so last night's preliminary A main winner is about to get lapped as McHugh is steaming that right rear tyre this could just about go all the way to the chequered flag green flag running McHugh gets to the inside of the 26 he's going to see a white flag next time by around he comes the Queenslander sees the white flag he won the
the Grand Annual Sprint Car Classic here in 2022 and is looking likely to add the Australian Championship to that mantle. McHugh wins in a thriller at Warrnambool. And he is your Australian Sprint Car Champion. He was wow. second last year oh. and he masters the tricky conditions of the bull tonight <laughs> on a wild hooky racetrack. McHugh gets the job done on a special night for he, a special night for Nick Speed. When they've been there before at the Classic, they've done it tonight at the title. Wait big, for this big result. Wait for this celebration when he clears the scales and hopefully it's legit. The SRV Road Freight Services number seven, unofficially the champ at the moment from Veal. Good year. Jordan Charge finishes fourth with Anderson and James Inglis. Well done to That's... this guy on screen as well. Lockie McHugh's about to get pushed off to celebrate. And this is something of a cool tradition that has formed in the last few years. Tim Kading burning this place down 10 years ago at the Classic. And hold on, because this could be big on a hooked up race track. might enjoy this more than the race. They told them at the driver's <laughs> briefing, you've got to do your donuts on the grass. But he might just send it for a few he's about, to a, he's about to do a 10 second yeah. lap. <laughs> he, he, he does a nine. Yeah. <laughs> do a lap record uh, after the checkered flag. Here we go. They're going to eat this up at Warnable tonight. This will be good. Time to burn it down to the ball. <laughs> Brilliant. And parks it nicely in front of Mount Max. There goes the steering wheel dispatched. Yeah. No longer needed. And he climbs out of number seven here at Premier Speedway. Winner of this year's Australian Sprint Car Championship. Well deserved. And this team will celebrate <laughs> long into the night, long into the week, maybe, in front of this incredible crowd who've been put through the elements the last two nights. And Lockie McHugh, your new Australian champion from Jamieville, Jock Goodyear. That is the podium. <laughs> Break a leg. That is unbelievable racing. That was just so cool. 40 green flag laps, fellas. And it was absolutely on at the lead of that race. Multiple lead changes. There's his crew chief, Nick Speed. Yeah, big moment for Speedy, isn't it? Yeah. There's Nathan on his crew. Jake was the first one to hug him. His old man was there with him as well. He's just taking this all in right now. The helmet will come off and he'll hear this very vocal crowd. <laughs> He's not normally an emotional dude. Benny, it's going to be exciting times down here with a new Australian champion. Down to you, mate. Dad's done it a couple of times in multiple divisions and now, Lockie McHugh, you are an Australian sprint car champion. Congratulations. Yeah, thank you. Uh, thanks, Max. Um, yeah, I know. never thought I'd get this one every... Been close so many times and always just fell short. So um, yeah, it's pretty surreal at the moment. I can imagine Dad was quick to come over. There's a lot of emotion. Yeah, for sure. Thanks. Jock Goodyear comes in. They're great mates, and that's cool to see that. Yeah, no, it's. Um, I'm sure if anyone uh, Jock would want to win, anyone's me. So um, cool to get it off him and. Um, and carry around the one for a year myself. <laughs> Absolutely, mate. Congratulations again. Enjoy the celebrations. Thank you. Oh, Nick Speed, congratulations. Your first Australian Spring Car Championship as a crew chief. You and I have been around this a long time. I cannot believe this is your first one. And what a cracker race at that. Yeah, finally, a um, couple of classics. Um, Started the front row of a lot of Australian titles, have been high points, and that first heat's killed us. Um, said tonight we can win this out of six, no dramas at all. And you seen what he just did there, he wheeled the shit out of that thing and that Garrett Motors was just eating up this cold air, it was beautiful. What did you think? When he got to the lead, were you confident that he could hang on to it? Yeah, he's really, he's always exceptional in traffic, so yeah, I had very, I had a heap of confidence in him there and you got through them like cars pretty good and really got caught behind him, it was just a matter of not making a mistake and he, he didn't make a mistake all race. Congratulations, another one to add to the trophy cabinet, good job. Thanks.